Hi everyone, this is Pedro from Pythonista with one more video. The other day I taught you in this channel and I put a link here up, you can click and watch this video. And I taught you how to deploy in a CI CD a Docker op container application like a fast API application. And I did that you deploying it to the Azure container instance. But sometimes it can be expensive to run that in Azure. But if you wanted to just run in a virtual machine, you can also deploy that easily in a Linode virtual machine, let's say a Nano One. If you're doing a toy project and just, just you know to test and demo your project, you can deploy in a Linode uh, virtual machine that has got a pre-installed Docker engine and it's only going to cost you five dollars per month that's pretty cheap and i'm going to teach you how to do it so i'm not going to go too much into detail about the application it's just like a toy application uh, that says hello world uh, i've got some tests here but i'm just going to show this application here and i've got my uh, everything my virtual environment and my app i'm just gonna run locally and then build a docker container and then i'm gonna push that to docker hub create a virtual machine in the node with pre-install docker engine and then i'm gonna deploy and then destroy the virtual machine just to demonstrate the steps okay let's start it so let's first um, activate my virtual environment if i don't do a typo and then i'm going to um now run the i have in readme the command so i'm just gonna first run locally to see if everything is fine yeah just gonna open my browser yeah app is running locally now i'm going to stop the development server and then i'm gonna build the container from this docker file here which is pretty much a template that I got from FastAPI website. And I'm running the process here in production in part 80. So let's build the container. Uh, it looks like my daemon is not running. I'll um, just fix that. Uh, let's see if that's working now. Yeah, so let's build the container. For some reason, my Docker engine was not running. I just restarted. So the container is built because I had this. Okay, the container is built. So now let's run locally. So just gonna run locally. It's gonna be a bit different. That's gonna be in port 80. Yeah, it's running. Let's do part 80 localhost. Yeah, it's running. Let's stop it. So, Docker. Oh, I need the name of the container. Is that ID? So, Docker container stop. Done. So just make sure that's done. Yeah, so now I'm just gonna log into my Docker Hub. Yeah, succeeded. And then now I'm going to push to the Docker Hub. Because I'm, I'm going to, I don't want to pull my repository and then build it, just gonna that's just a demo. I'm just, just going to use like a public um, Docker registry, which is that one. So I did a, a day ago. So it should be updated now to just now. It's just pushing, pushing layer by layer. Yeah, I think it's already done. If I refresh this, it's going to be yeah, a few seconds ago. So just now, this is my time, local time, seven o'clock. Yeah, 7.26 p.m. 
So now let's head to Linode and create a new Linode. So I'm not going to build from scratch. I'm just going to get a, an image that has got Docker. And then I can just go in the marketplace, click Docker. And there is a Docker setup that I'm just going to skip this part. I'm just going to get like a Ubuntu in Sydney. So that's the closest from my house. And then I'm going to get just a cheap one. So $5 a month. And I'm just going to call it just Docker. And no tags. The password's going to be. That's enough. And I'm just going to create it. It's going to take a few minutes. So it's been created. Yeah, it's running. So let's see if I can SSH there. From here, hmm, what's happening? All right, um, after banging my head now, I think my WSL now is uh, SSH is working. I just try to do it. Um, so that's the root user. Let's see if it's going to work now. Yes. Uh, password if I didn't forget. Oh yeah. Yeah, I had forgotten the password. Okay, so I'm inside the virtual machine. Um, so Docker is installed. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to send command that I run on my local, but because it's on my Docker hub now, it's going to try, it's not going to find on my local, and then it's going to pull the image from the Docker hub. So it wasn't able to find locally, and the connection is pretty quick from this virtual machine. So it's just extracting the image from Docker hub. And it's going to run the container on power 80. Yeah, almost there. Done. Looks like the image is running. So let's check. Yeah, it's running. So now if I go to that IP address, so my app will be running that. So because it's 480, just go. And yeah, my app is running. So that's it, guys. So thanks for watching. So if you have any questions and you want to more you want to know more detail about this project, I'm going to put the GitHub link down below. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the bell and like the video. See you next time.